Welcome back. I'm back on Microsoft PowerPoint and I'm now up to Transitions tab. Now what I want you to do is add a template. So go to File and select New. And I want you to add any template you want. So I'm going to use Berlin and select Create. So we can see the transitions taking place. Now we need to add another slide. So I'm going to right click and I can select New Slide. So I've now got two slides. Now click the Transition option. There's not a lot to the Transition option so that'll make it more complicated than it is. First option, if I hover over, click on Morph, and hover over to Fade and click it, you can see it gives you those effects, and you can choose which one you want. But you might come to Split, for example, or Wipe, and you can see it's wiping from right to left, and you decide, you know, actually, I want it to come the other direction. Well, that's no problem. Come to the right, you've got Effect Options for that Wipe option. So these effects will change options depending on what transition you use. So you might want it to come from left, and they go from left to right. Or you might decide actually you want it from top left. It's up to you how you want the transition to come into play. The drop down arrow here you've got even more from exciting to our dynamic content. So I'm going to select pan and see now that pans in and again if I go to effects options you can choose how you want that to pan in. So always bear that in mind when you're using that. So if I come to the left you can see that little star indicating that I've got animation on that now as well so you know. So you can go for each slide, adding your transition. So it transitions from one slide to the next and split. I'm going to click back on one. To the right here, we've got little options called timing. So during transition, I might decide, actually, I want a sound. So I can select other sound. So if you've got a sound that you've downloaded from a website, then you can access it that way. Wave content. Or you might just want built-in ones like applause. Just to let you know down the bottom here, you can loop until next sound, so you can keep looping. So it keeps going round. So duration is 1.3 seconds. So I'm going to make that 3 seconds. And I'm going to apply that to all transition of slides. So every time a transition slide changes, you have the applause for about 3 seconds. Well, you will have it for 3 seconds. To the right here is when you want to advance to another slide. You could advance on mouse click, but if I untick that, you could advance each slide if I tick that on a specific time. So after every number of seconds, it will automatically go to the next slide for you if you want. So that depends on what you're actually doing. So I'm going to untick that and leave it on mouse click. So let's see if those sound effects work. I'm on slide 1. I'll click preview. And there you go. There's the applause. And it's that simple to use. See you in the next video tutorial.